Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Let's Play Skyrim. Last time when we left off, I had just made my way to Red Eagle Redoubt. I'd kind of been inadvertently joined by Delphine and Esbern because I veered a bit too close to the Karth Spire. I've changed my mind about bringing them with me through these dungeons. I'm just going to tell them to wait outside because, you know, somebody made a comment about Serata on one of my earlier videos, and frankly, they're right. When you're at full power, having followers is a pain in the ass. You say so. Wait here. Now well, let's get in there. Take care of business ourselves. that deer hide. As much fun as it would be to kill them with the traps. I think we'll be better off killing them ourselves. Let's just do that, and then let's keep going. Sound good to everybody? Now that they're dead, we can hit the tripwire. Set it off, I don't really care. an ore vein to Nick over here, so let's do that. Let's loot these bodies before I forget. Alrighty. <laughs> and now we can keep on trucking. Up, up, up the ascent. They can dump all the rocks they want to. Not going to do a damn thing to me. Let's see, we got one burial urn on the way up. So that's three more dealt with, disposed of. Whoa, I didn't want to take everything. Darn. Yeah, so hold on. I picked up a bow and a dagger and definitely some forsworn armor that I didn't want. I was trying to figure out why I had so much stuff and then I remembered we did get bum rushed by a blood dragon just outside. Nothing. Just the arrows. All right. I think we're mainly. I think we're good up to here. I think everything's covered, so let's roll on. Just keep our eyes open. Try the chest hiding under these stairs. I 
that's all well and good. Coin purse and mushrooms. The usual. And now, we're out. It's quite a climb. With many, many forsworn to fight. We emerge out here. There's this plateau of sorts between the exit and the cave we first came through. It's worth poking around down here. This little altar here. I remembered there actually being something. Yeah, there it is. There's a chest. Among other things, of course. But the chest is usually the point of real value. You can see now we're just above the cave entrance to Red Eagle Readout. Oh, and wouldn't you know it, we have found the rupture for Tolfdir's Aftershock quest. I had almost forgotten. These things are going to be tough. Not in the going to kill me sense, but in the annoying because they're hard to hit sense. And they're all keyed to your level, but you close the rupture quite simply by killing them. Completed. Close the rupture. Return to Tolfdir. do that in a jiffy. In fact, we'll probably do it now before we even do the rest of this joint. I'll just finish clearing out the plateau, which involves just this single little silver vein. back, of course, with a couple of juniper bushes. And a mountain flower. And now we're more or less done down here, so... <coughs> With that in mind, I say we go ahead and go to the college just to take care of this quest and never worry about it again. Enemies are nearby, huh? There we go. Now let's go to the college and take care of this quest. I have found and shut down the magical anomaly Tolfdir was worried about. I should return to him and let him know it's been dealt with. 
we still aren't quite completely finished here. When destruction hits 100, we need to come back to do the destruction ritual spell. But that's it. Otherwise, we are now finished with the College of Winterhold. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. I've taken care of the disturbance. Very good. I'm sure the Jarl will be quite pleased. Pleased enough to justify the significant amount of gold offered to the college to rectify the problem. I think it only fitting that the Archmage person receive a large portion of the reward. Well done. 1500 gold added. Completed Aftershock. I'll take Aftershock off my quest list. Care now. A magical anomaly was reported in Skyrim. It seems to have been connected to Ancano's meddling with the Eye of Magnus. I successfully shut it down before it could become a greater problem. Take care now. It's a fine day with you around. All right. We'll probably never go into the Hall of Attainment again. The only person we ever need to talk to here is Feralda. And just because my carry weight's getting high, I'll make a pit stop at Winstead. And then we'll get back to work. It's all good, apparently. Makes things easy. You lost. You're home. Hey, I got you something. Hope you like it. Green robes. Ah, uh, the gold is flowing nicely. Here's your half of the profits, Mary. Honored to see you again. I'll be here if you need me, love. Nothing there. I'll put the green robes away. Ingredients go here. Uh, the thing that's really getting us, of course, is the dragon parts we're toting. Let's drop off those and any other smithing supplies. There's silver everywhere. Oh, I guess I still have all my stuff from Kolskegger. That's the piece I wasn't really paying attention to. Okay. Cool, cool. Now then, back to Red Eagle Readout. After that little diversion. Hey, I like getting completely done with a faction. That's why this... Dragon Seeker's quest from Vilkus is driving me so goddamn bonkers. <laughs> it's the only thing available, theoretically available in the companions that I haven't done. And I just can't seem to get it to work, but oh well. We'll go back to Red Eagle Readout. They have not had the ten days they would need to respawn. Everything should be fine. Delphine and Esbern are right where I left them. That's what I like to see. back through the short little cave, which you will notice is not cleared, not yet anyway. It will be, it just isn't. Where the fuck? 
I don't know what the hell happened to my map just then. I didn't like it, I'll tell you that. Alright, a little over 15 minutes in now, but that first cave is clear. We've got a massive exterior camp leading up to two more locations in order to finally find Red Eagle's sword. Time to 96 destruction. Fucking love it. Four ranks to go. I'm actually discovering it can be handy to use slow time in advance of my spells. <clears throat> Makes it a lot easier to aim the icy spears. Only four ranks of destruction left, and we just power through one-handed an archery, and then prior to patch 1.9 we would have been done, but with patch 1.9, the Ebony Warrior, high-leveled shit on Soulstheim, and legendary levels will wind up with more to do. I'm not into letting people run away. So sorry, bro. Let's steal his gold. I guess it's not stealing. Let's go kill her. There we go. Nicely done. Looks like we got one other one up here somewhere. Who's aware of me? Where are you? Looks like he's at least a level above Guess it's all clear now. the highest I ever got, so. What was that? Thought I heard something. <laughs> Pure, unadulterated killing machine. That's what we've become. Just raw, overwhelming power. It's delightful, really. When you consider how incredibly squishy we were at the start of the game. back here. Would you run up there to your friends? Get your friends when I'm good and goddamn ready. Which is not yet. So I'm starting to find their tents now. Nothing in either of those two. See a big level of ruins up above us. And really two ways to go. I'll go directly under the ruins first. There's just a few 
little bits of loot to spot, but really not much happening. The action's over here where their camp has been built. Let's do that instead. Oh, being exterior like this makes me nervous. I try to avoid quick saving when I can. I think a full magic of our with my destruction jewelry on now translates pretty well and pretty evenly to 10 icy spears. Reality and other falsehoods is an alteration skill book. Is the first base level forsworn we've even seen. The equivalent of a bandit with no other title. If you're wondering. Thought I heard something. We got a forge here, a depth locked chest. Blah, 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 yawn, whatever. I think that should be everybody in the lower level camp. We will, of course, see. But I think so. Now, let me kick around in here. We're good, we're good, we're good. Now up here, just so you know, I've never not seen a texture error. <clears throat> Meaning, okay, we've discovered the Sundered Towers. Can take them off our discoverable locations list. I'm gonna do a s real anchor save here. Thought I heard something. Briarheart is powerful. But now, with him down, I should be able to, number one, loot everybody. Red Eagle Tower Key. Now note, he's got a sword called Red Eagle's Fury, which I don't actually have on my unique items list because it's not the uh, good version, but we need it. Completed, find Red Eagle's sword. Unlock the secret of Red Eagle's tomb. Look at this, it worked. First time I've ever seen it work. This almost always falls through the altar. But we have a book called Red Eagle's Right which I'm going to take off the list and read. Red Eagle's Rite, having bathed the blade in human blood presented at Rebel's Cairn together with your sacrifice and in tone, Lord Red Eagle, Ancient One, first and foremost among Reachmen, heed the call of your people. Still we fight for freedom, still our blades are dark with blood. Turn your gaze upon us and grant us your blessing anew. I renew the ancient covenant. When at last our lands are free, we shall return your sword of victory in hand. Then arise, O great one, from your honored tomb. 
reclaim thy stolen throne. <clears throat> Rule over us, High Lord of the Reach, forevermore. Check out the altar. Note that we have now cleared both Sundered Towers and Red Eagle Redoubt. So I will take them both off of my uh, clearable locations list. Which is nice. We can check out the Briarheart's tent for a boss chest and some other goodies, including a copy of the Legend of Red Eagle. Now I will tell you that once this quest is over, never, ever, ever read another copy of the Legend of Red Eagle. Now the quest will pop back into your journal, but it'll be impossible to complete. It's just terribly bugged. You don't want to fuck with it. So, Red Eagle Tower Key opens this up. We make our way up the tower. Let's loot the tower we're in before we do anything else. Alright, simple enough. Pull the chain, lower the drawbridge into another tower. Let's loot it as well, starting from the top and working our way down. Nothing up here. Nothing here. That's fine. Down here, there's a novice locked chest. And then if we head down this ramp, we find some goodies, but more importantly, we can raise a door bar, and you may not realize it, but we have been spit out right on the border with Whiterun Hold. I'll just, I'll show you where we are real quick. There's actually not nearly as much to find as you'd think, even though this plateau is huge. But if you head over here, you see this Stonehenge looking set of markers doesn't actually have anything inside which might seem odd to you it certainly does to me but it's all right it is what it is what you should realize though is we're right above broken tower readout which we most certainly have explored in the past if we head over here to the east what you may also realize, if you're thinking clearly, is that we're tracking the main road we first took in from Whiterun to get to the Reach in the first place. It's right down there. We're just up above it now. And so as we make a nice big loop over to here, we'll eventually, and that eventually comes pretty soon, don't worry. Steal this saber cat. Should be able to do it with just spells. I've done it before. Now here's a big ass group of Forsworn. They seem to have come out of nowhere. sure what encounter this is, but... Oh, now I do. So we just killed seven Forsworn. Let's loot all seven of them. One, two... Six. 
7. This is Forsworn Attacking Merchant. You can see the poor gal over there. So, with that done, let's go receive our congratulations for saving this woman. Wait, we got we got two encounters, that's why there were so many. Yes, there are dead orc hunters here because we also got orcs fighting Forsworn. And I'm realizing that we have previously gotten roaming ice wraiths. So I'll take that off my list too. Alright, now we're good. So the Forsworn made short work of these unfortunate orc hunters. It looks like they were distracted. Thanks for the help. The Reach has been crawling with Forsworn lately. It's a wonder people can get anywhere around here. Maybe I'll avoid this entire hold for a while. That said, I do have a few things to sell. Until next time. Alright. So... I've just removed three random encounters from my list. We only just cleared two. I found one that I should have cleared long ago and just never found on the list. In fact, I even remember talking about it. I could swear there was something about ice wraiths on here. I just found it. Roaming ice wraiths. So, what we're about to get to, at least if I keep marching east, is can see where the road arcs there. There's a... We've been up to there, because we got the Corindum vein that's down there. Over there is Lund's Hut and the Moldering Ruins, all of which we have previously explored. I am going to circle back this direction, keep myself in newer territory, just east of that big fat cave, which is Rebel's Cairn, our next actual destination. <coughs> There's one iron ore vein. I'm gonna go ahead and get Rebel's Cairn on my map. back here soon enough. I'll take that off my discoverable locations list. Just west and a little bit south of here. Now, commenter Scott Jerry, before you complain about me going hunting for ore veins, realize that as a simple proxy for exploration what this is really accomplishing is allowing me to find random encounters and take them off the list see these three wolves are definitely another random encounter it just happens to be one I've already seen Getting to that point now, we're so deep into the game, there aren't going to be that many more opportunities to find random encounters. And if I, when it comes closer to the end and I'm trying to find them all, which is something I do still want to accomplish, it's going to be very tedious running back and forth and fast traveling through encounter sites. You want to find as many as you can in the natural course of the game to save yourself the hassle later. So, that's Bleak Wind Bluff, which we'll explore momentarily, along with the areas surrounding it. 
Let's hug these rocks to the north just because you can see the moldering ruins down there which we have already explored. If we uh, just snake through here and grab this one core in the main, then we'll have cleared out this entire big old uh, plateau. We won't have to worry about it. Let's get this one. Now let's head back and go into Rebel's Cairn. Finally, I can quick save without panicking that the game will crash. Let's do this. A lot of vegetation in here. Very little action until uh, until the end, anyway. So here we are at Red Eagle's tomb. I think we first found a copy of that book way the hell back in Dragon's Reach. Ages ago. There's another copy here. Presumably in case you just went out wandering and stumbled into Rebel's Cairn without the quest. Which you can't really do anything here without the sword we got at Sundered Towers. That stool is irretrievable, which is fine. Let me finish harvesting. Yes, that includes the iron vein. Obvious secret door is obvious. Obvious shrine is obvious. But, like I said, you have to have Red Eagle's Fury. Stick it in this weapon slot. Completed. Unlock the secret of Red Eagle's Tomb. So, we head on through. And actually, we have already completed the miscellaneous quest called Rebel's Cairn. There's only one more miscellaneous dungeon quest left in the game, if you can believe that. Alright, time to fight Red Eagle. At our level he's probably going to be a dragon priest. Just be ready for that. <laughs> Just a death lord. We were spared the real trouble that it could have gone with. It's kind of nice. And now he is wrecked. Rebel's Cairn is cleared. So we can take it off the clearable locations list. Always nice.
can search Red Eagle. <coughs> he doesn't actually have anything worthwhile. Uh, let's search his tomb now. This big lower area <coughs> doesn't seem to have much. Although a weirdly healthy collection of barnacles and slaughterfish eggs can be found there. That is a... Am I the only one who thinks that was a little bit weird? I don't get how that fits with the atmosphere we're cultivating here. Usually everything you find placed somewhere has an obvious point in the story of the dungeon. I'm confused by that. It's alright though. I don't think there's anything else left on this level, so let's go up to coffin level now. In addition to Red Eagle, we had one other skeleton. Back behind him, a few shelves, coin purse, soul gems, usual. Glass shield, coin purse, orcish mace, and the boss chest. Well, we already know Icy Spear, but thank you for that. The real prize comes when we exit. Note, the sword is glowing with a much more pleasant hue. We grab it. It has turned into Red Eagle's Bane, which is quite a bit better. It's got higher base damage. It's got a better enchantment. So I'll take Red Eagle's Bane off of my uh, unique item list. And declare that we're done here at Rebel's Cairn. That seemed a little anticlimactic to you after the book about how crazy Red Eagle was and how legendarily tough he was. Well, you're not alone. But Red Eagle's Bane is a pretty cool weapon. Oh, there we go. That's your reward for tracking him down. Now we're ready to take care of Bleak Wind Bluff. So let's go do that. Got about 15 minutes left in this video. There's Lund's Hut and the Moldering Ruins. We're right on the border with Whiterun now. We head over here, due south of the tower. We find a very out of place mud crab. is this path. This one, of course, is it? This is actually a main path taking us deeper down into the reach. Just to show you exactly where we are and to close some loops. Let's roll east till this path stops. Or I can just show you, we're right near Lund's Hut and just above Rorikstead in an area we've certainly been to before. Very close to the Moldering Ruins. I'm actually a little worried about aggroing the Deathhound and the Thrall, so let's stay just a little lower. Well, I am interested in taking out this wolf, mostly because 
anything I can hit for really mondo damage with a spell like this is excellent for my destruction experience. There we go. Now then, you can see right over here, the path leading up to this tower. And yes, just under 15 minutes to go inside our first hour. We're gonna start sneaking now. We have discovered Bleak Wind Bluff. Delightful. Let's remove it from the discoverable locations list. This is pretty straightforward. I think it's like two Forsworn and a Hagraven, if I remember right. fear of hag ravens anymore now that I'm finally uh, at maxed out magic resistance. Somebody <laughs> summoned a frost astronaut. Now let's kill the forsworn pillager. Certainly need to kill the hag raven. Which, as you could note out here, is sufficient to clear Bleak Wind Bluff. I'll take it off the clearable locations list accordingly. Now let's finish up in here. Good. Now we can actually check out the tower, which is surprisingly sparse, although not with decor. But nonetheless, there is a boss chest, as well as a copy of King. A two-handed skill book we read some time ago. All right. Ten minutes left. We want to get on that road and just follow it down to what's marked as a cave, and I suppose contains a cave, but is really a settlement. Miners and a quest and everything. So we get on this road. <clears throat> we head on down. arrive at a place called Solian's Sinkhole. That's a path farther south, which we'll take later. Now we just want to get Sullyan Sinkhole on the map, take it off my discoverable locations list, and do a couple things. Loot around, 
Don't go too far west. I'm gonna go get Delphine and Esbern and bring them here, because that takes us right to the Karth Spire, and this is my preferred uh, launch point for getting there and doing the next step of the main quest. And before I even do that, I should check out the miner's house. dungeon sound doesn't really seem appropriate, but whatever. I guess Solian Sinkhole is treated as a dungeon, so it's overlapping the music in the miner's house. That's pickpocket Toothol. Got gold, key, lockpick, and We talk tunneled to him. into an old crypt. We're warning strangers to keep out. I'm not going into the mine with Draugr lurking down there. Guards are useless. They just stand around waiting for a full regiment to come and help. Need something? Sure. So let's go out here. Where we can pickpocket and speak to what Perth. I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. The mine isn't safe? Why? We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with Drogo. We're not mining up any ore with those undead around, so I wouldn't go down there if I were you. Clear Solian sinkhole of Drogo. Well, We're keeping of course. the mine closed until that crypt is clear. See if this dude's got We're anything I need to pickpocket. Gold and a lot of pick. There's still clear. plenty of ore left in that mine. What a waste. Yes? Need something? Sure. Right, well, let's get a few more plants from around here. I'm wondering where this dragon I'm hearing is. There he is. Looks like he's of the frost persuasion. I feel like I'm getting attacked by dragons entirely too often lately. Like, I don't know, like it's making up for some deficit and just practically spamming me with them. Oh well. They're easy enough to kill now that I don't really care, but it's certainly irritating. I'm just trying to get up there and get that juniper bud plant. Alright, well. Got about five minutes left, give or take, in this video. So, I'm going to go to Winstad and offload. Kind of needed to anyway with my unique weapon and the... Yet another set of dragon parts, just kind of confirmed that. Here's ten gold. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, but Shavi's out here. Ah, oh, it's my luck. The gold is flowing nicely. Here's <coughs> the pockets, my dear. Good. All right. Let's do all this. Usual pattern.
cool. Alrighty. Let's offload. You lost. Ow. I live here, Biz and Nizzle. <laughs> Let's check the kids' dresser. Still nothing. Check their chests as well. Nothing and nothing take all this though just cause I don't like how scattered it's gotten let's put in Red Eagle's Bane Dearest. let's drop ingredients Excuse me. Let's drop smithing supplies. After smelting, of course. But only if needed, which apparently it's not. All right, a couple minutes left, so the next video will be Sullyad Sinkhole followed by the Cart Spire, next step of the main quest. So, I'm going to head to Red Eagle Readout, just to retrieve Delphine and Esbern. They're still right where I left them. Good. I've got your back. Let's take him to Sullyan Sinkhole, where I'll tell him to wait again until I clear the dungeon. And once it's clear, it's just a very short walk west to arrive at the cart spire. It almost seems like they know that. Not sure where they are, but. I hear talk oh. about a regiment coming to clear the crypts out. We'll see if that happens. There's still plenty of ore left in that mine. What a waste. Alright, let's head inside. Delphine and Esbern aren't with me. So much the better. That means they're waiting at the cart spire like they're supposed to be. Alright. Awesome. I'm going to end this video here. Because we have been going just about one hour. This is Ben. Let's play Skyrim. We got Red Eagle Sword after all those many, many hours. And we also did some good exploring, mapped out more of the border with Whiterun, and we're closing in on advancing the main quest. Until then, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please consider clicking an ad, liking, sharing, subscribing, all of which really help me out. Regardless, please know that I really appreciate the time you spend watching and hope you have a fantastic day.